gully monitoring on crater slopes in Terra Serenum. These crater gullies lie on the northern wall of an unnamed 9-kilometer diameter southern hemisphere crater in Terra Serenum. The image was acquired during early winter in the southern hemisphere, so the crater wall is in shadow. These gullies were first imaged by high-rise in 2006. Since that time, the possible role of seasonal frost in gully formation, along with the association of polygonal terrain with these and other gullies, has garnered considerable interest. As a result, these gullies have become one of several locations being monitored by high-rise throughout multiple Mars years. Over a dozen images of these gullies have been acquired to date throughout different Mars seasons. In this image, frost, likely water ice, is once again forming on these southern hemisphere mid-latitude crater slopes. Close-ups show gullies on the shadowed polar-facing slope. The large dynamic range of the high-rise camera allows one to see into the shadows dimly lit by sunlight, scattered by the surface and the atmosphere. These gullies are thinly veiled with frost and range in width from several meters to tens of meters, and in length from a couple kilometers or so. Dark regions within the gullies are warmer areas where frost likely evaporated or melted, exposing the darker underlying surface. Possible Hydrated Minerals on the Plains of Terra Serenum This image shows a small light-toned exposure of rock on the plains of Terra Serenum in a heavily cratered region of the southern hemisphere of Mars. What's of interest here is the potential hydrated mineral signature that appears in CRISM multispectral data. Hydrated minerals on Mars are indicators of past environmental conditions. Comparing high-resolution images from high-rise and the high-spectral resolution of CRISM helps understand these minerals. Prior to high-rise, there were no existing high-resolution images of this exposure.